we're going to start off in Notion and design our page as the landing page of our website before we connect to super.so. And the first thing you'll note is that when you do a new page with a Notion, you have this untitled uh, dummy text here. And it will pull through if you leave it as is when you connect to super.so. So if you don't want to uh, name your page using text, let's say you wanted to add an image instead, one way to clear this is just to do a few spaces and it will uh, just be white space instead. We're going to continue with an empty page by pressing enter. And I went ahead and created some creative in Canva that I want to use um, on my main page. So I'm going to insert my uh, logo here by doing slash image and hitting enter. So let that load. And then I'm going to add some text here. Creating solutions you won't believe exist with a community of designers, no code technologists, and a lot of coffee. And I'm going to make this a little bigger by highlighting and changing this from text to a, let's see, I want heading one. How about, we'll leave it as a heading one for now. And actually let's do a heading two. And then uh, just to add a little bit of pizzazz, I'm going to highlight community and add a pink background because I can. And then I'm going to do a few spaces and I'm gonna have my first kind of header. What we do. And again, I'm going to highlight this and make this a heading three. And you'll notice that with Notion, you don't have the option to align text left, center, or right. So one workaround is you can use empty blocks to kind of push the margins. And then once you have um, kind of a column set up here, you can play with the width. So now we're going to add another image. And you'll see it's kind of, uh, stuck in this column here. So I'm just going to grab this and look for this line to pop up there. And then we'll do another header, what we think, turning it into a heading three. And again, playing with the margins here. Try and get that centered. We might have to tweak it when uh, we connect it to super.so. And I went ahead already and created three posts here that I would like to link to. And eventually I'm, I want to gate the content behind member space. So I've signaled that with doing a key icon in my title of my page. Now we can leave the pages outside of the master page if we wanted to, but if we wanna carry over the custom domain that we are going to set up with Super, then the pages need to be nested within the master document. So I'm just gonna drop it up inside of the master page by dragging it. And you'll see it automatically uh, shows up here. Just gonna click into this and like that. And now again, to push these over,
So now it's just one block and I can play with the padding across all three. If we want to make this a little bit more centered, we can also do blocks on the other side. There we go. Let's add a little bit more text. So we'll say sign up here to join our community and receive exclusive access to our member insights. And I'm going to drag this block just uh, so it expands. I'm going to drag the block down here and turn this into a heading three. And I'm going to change the background of this text to pink, and then eventually I will link it to a sign-up form. And then if someone has already signed up, we'll have some text here that says already a unicorn. Head to the community here. We'll add an emoji for fun, which is obviously going to be a unicorn. And I'm going to center this text. And highlight here. And use a pink background, which I will change uh, to link again later on when I've set up my circle community. And we can make this a heading three as well. Okay, so now we have the basics of our Notion site set up. We can head to Super. Within Super.so, in the upper right hand corner, click on New Site. And you have two options between Super Static and Super Default. For this lesson, I'm going to choose Super Static. For site name, I'm going to put in Magical Unicorn. And my custom domain is the magical unicorn agency.com. Then for public Notion URL, you need to go back into Notion and in the top right hand corner, click on share and make sure that share to the web is toggled to be blue or on. Then copy this link here and paste it back in super.so and then hit continue. On this screen, you can add pretty URLs. So what that means is when you have pages within your Notion site like this, you have this ugly slug, best no code tools for communities, and then a bunch of numbers and letters. So I can actually take this, copy it, paste it here, and then make a pretty URL and call it something just like best no code tools. And you can add more or just hit continue. And then here is where you're going to select the domain registrar that you have used to purchase your domain. In this case, I've used GoDaddy. I'm going to copy this IP address here and keep in mind that the name slash host is the at symbol. And then heading into my DNS settings of my domain, I'm going to add an A record type. The host is going to be that at symbol. And then I'm going to paste in that IP address here and hit save. Now back in super, I'm going to hit continue. Here I'm going to select a custom font, upload a site image, which will show when you share a link to your page.
Then we'll leave the snippet injection box empty for now. And for a site description, I'll just put unicorn community and then hit continue. And now we're all done. And you can wait for the DNS settings to update and you can monitor the status of your site going live with super.so here. When this turns to live, then we know that our site is live with our custom domain. Right now, if we go to it, it just says it can't be reached. All right, our site is live, so let's go check it out. So from here, you can leave it as is, or you can go back into Notion and play around with the sizing of everything and hit refresh on your domain to see the updates live. But this is how you connect super.so to make Notion a website. If you have any questions, please reach out. And if you use super.so and Notion to create a website for your business or yourself, please share with us in the community. We'd love to see what you're making. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.